Okay, so what I want everyone to know is that David doesn't know anything about what I'm going to ask him when I shoot these videos. They're very candid, they're very honest, his reactions are just honest. So, I'm going to talk about something that, that happened one time in Vegas. And I, then I want David to finish the story. Because it involved... A, a little bit of a wild side that is an exhibitionist in us both. And I think I'll let David go from here because he can tell the story pretty good. He's got a great memory and a very detailed way of telling stories. So why don't you share with everyone one of the weirdest, strangest experiences that we've encountered together. There was this guy that I thought was gay, this, I don't know, Hispanic fellow, and I just told Adam once, you know, I, what I really want to do, I just wanted to, like, rip my robe right off in front of him, just, like, stand there and stare at him, and and he, I was like, did, did, would that would that bother you if I did something like that? Because that's what I want to do, I want to I mess with him, because I thought he was gay, and, you know, I, I thought he would like it, and just the way he was and stuff, and... And Adam says, that wouldn't bother me, and he just told me that, and this has been a while back, we had that conversation, and we had little references, and and um, we had a bellboy, right, is this bellboy's yeah. the right term, want to bring in our stuff, our bags and shit, and he, uh, he really surprised me once where he, I mean... I think that I just wasn't really expecting the bellboy to come. I think I was just wearing my underwear on the bed, right, or something, or maybe shorts and underwear. What was I wearing? Didn't I? But the way I remember it is, I told you to just leave your underwear on. Just leave my underwear. Take on. Take everything off but your underwear. Take everything off of my underwear. And that was and, before he got to the room. And he came in the room, and I, I was, I wasn't really knowing what was going on, and, and, um, I'm not supposed to say names here, right? Whatever. Anyway, my boyfriend goes and, like, starts taking my underwear off and, and sucking my dick, and I'm, like, kind of freaking out while this bellboy is, like, coming in and bringing her bags in the room and, like, putting them next to the bed, and, and I didn't really know what was going on, but I was sort of, like, exhilarated and freaked out, and, and I didn't know why the bellboy would be coming all the way in the room bringing in the bags, and... Um, but he went ahead and, and finished me off, and the thing that I would find out some things later, that he finished me off deliberately at, like, a certain angle so that the bellboy could watch, which he was watching from the other room, and then when Adam finished and left, the bellboy just, like, stared at my erect dick and just stared at it for 30 seconds or something while Adam was gonna go get some money, and then... He gave him the money, but the guy held his hand for a second while he was getting the money, and Bellboy seemed to be very happy. He was, like, skinny, Hispanic kid, probably 18, 19, 20, or not much older. If he was, I think he was a little older or whatever, but he had, like, spiky hair. And <laughs> later, it was, it was, like, a week later, and even on a following trip, when we went to Vegas, we, like, passed right by him, and we just kind of knowingly looked at each other, but just, like pretended not to know each other and just like walked by and <laughs> we didn't want to make him feel weird on the job he was in public but yeah he recognized us it was fun